And let's see the heat map. So this is basically the second option that you have in the show me palette. It's basically the heat map. And heat map, uh, as it is mentioned in the bottom, that for heat maps, you need to try one or more dimension and one or two measures. All right. So let's try with that. First, select, uh, for example, product subcategory as it has good number of values. And let's select sales. And uh, let's select product sub subcategory by region, probably or at the max because region has around three or four values so let's select the state i'll just uncheck the this region all right let's go ahead and see it all right something is uh, messed up here so what i can do is uh, i can remove this and first of all um, I can select sales and sub product category and drag it down over here and change it to heat map. All right, now better. I have much better control and I can now move the state to here in the columns. All right, a uh, good picture, but uh, not very easily interpretable. So I can swap the row and columns. And now I get a much better picture about the, the heat map. So which indicates where I'm making the max more sales compared to the last, last sales and all of that based on the product subcategory and state. And I can sort it by, uh, sort the information to better see it. So sorting in the descending way. Here based on the descending I got this information which is much much better than how it was shown in the last uh, visual all right uh, once we are here we want to make it a little bit more intuitive so we are showing the sum of sales for each state and subcategory within the heat map and we want to make it uh, much more impactful by adding let's say profit to the color once we add this it indicates where we are getting uh, where we are in negative in terms of profit and where we are having the more profit so here in this case tables are not very profitable in California but accessories are like very much profitable so very intuitively you can get within just with just looking at uh, uh, five seconds to it you can get to know how each of these categories are really doing and pinpoint to the visualization so apart from profit putting it on the uh, color card what you can do is you can even look at the product categories and see it in with a twist so what you can do is category put it on the color and now you can see in each of these sub product categories in these states how your different categories are really you know moving ahead so for example um chairs is, is basically related to this uh, furniture and office and technology so it's basically giving you an indication that uh, based on the categories you have how they are really performing in each of the states by putting it as a categorization filter which is uh, intuitive enough to tell you where you are having the maximum sales based on the category of the uh, product so that's how you can use both measure as well as uh, uh, as well as the dimension to put it on the color card uh, apart from this what you also have is the size so as we have seen previously in the videos you can put the measure on the size to really see uh, how the sales are really coming together so pretty much we can see that uh, profit is is good in certain cases here in this case office supplies but it's not very very intuitive or somebody would just look at it and uh, make out a decision no that's not probably it is so let's take it back and uh, so there is something messed up with our visualization so i would say some of sales to the size all right we are back to the normal visualization 
and uh, let's try with discount replacing the sum of sales to this and now we have comparatively better picturization of how the information is for the discount based for these subcategories and state and these categories of the products that we have so ideally uh, for the for this video perspective i have shown you the different ways but i would just suggest that uh, if you are using two dimension adding the third dimension would add a lot of complexity and interpretation becomes a little bit difficult so i would suggest uh, just use the two dimension and use the measures like uh, so for example so this discount and uh, as a color and sum of sales as a size to have a better representation and better interpretability of the data by so that somebody is just looking at it and within just five or ten seconds they can they can make it out what you are really trying to show in the visualization so having two categories would be fine having a third category would add a complexity so if you are if somebody at an analyst level is seeing it it should be okay because somebody may want to find uh, trying to figure out the findings from the data and write it as a part of commentary but if somebody at an executive level or, or higher level uh, they, they just want to look at the picture which is very very simple and can give an idea within very quickly like five second ten seconds okay where the problems are and where we need to focus so i would suggest use two categories and then use measures to really show okay here you are having the more discount and uh, but but the good sales uh, less sales and more discount or here you have the more sales but less discount so probably the problematic area is this we may need to focus it over here what is really going on so that's that's all uh, from the heat map introduction video uh, and i'll meet you in the new video with a new topic